Hi guys, we continue to work on real world practices. Uh, these are the basic ones, but in the future we will handle more advanced techniques uh, toward cleaning and sorting, filtering the data. So first I will import my pandas library by typing import pandas spd. Then I will import my dataset by typing the re8 csv. Uh, going one step back here inside of the data folder. If I go back to the data folder and open this home site by country CSV file, uh, we could see that we have a CSV file separated by a comma. I will copy this file and import it here. And of course, call it by typing the df head, click shift enter, and we have imported all data. So the first task is sorting the data frame as per count column here. Uh, uh, we have a count column before sorting we should be make sure that the count column has the data type of integer here you could see it has an integer data type so that it will called filter properly and now if i try to sort the over my data set based on this column count column i will do what i will type in the df sort sort values values and type in the sorted uh, colon count what colon based on what colon do we want to sort it and type in the ascending equals to false as an example if we want to sort it in a descending order we will uh, type in the ascending false and it will sort it uh, from the largest to the smallest one all the data sets will sort all the data set from the largest to the smallest one as you could see, these are the index positions. We could even reset it if we like a reset index, but I don't want to save it. I just reset it for now and print out if we want. We could even print out the first 10 rows here. You could see it has added the index uh, column, additional index column, but we could get rid of it by typing the drop equals to true here. Click shift enter you could see we have a new data set sorted in a based on the count column okay but if we just mm, call it again it will mm, come back to the previous position because we haven't saved it now and uh, the second uh, question will be sorting the data frame as per rate and count column because and the rate in a descending and count in a ascending or ascending order so this should be ascending just uh, I will make it it an ascending order ascending right sending order and save it okay if I just go back and open up this file again it will mm, convert this blue uh, color to the black one you can see and now if i want to sort it i will type the df df again sort values values i will pick up a uh, column names what column names do i want to sort i want to sort two column names rate and count this is the rate and counts and we have checked that the rate and count both of them have integer and float uh, one of them float and one of the integer data type so they will be sort sorted without problems so I will paste two column names, rate and count, count two column names. And if I want to sort them differently, I will type in the ascending, ascending equals uh, false or true. False will be the first one, true will be another one. It means that this one rate will be sorted in a descending order while count in ascending order. We could even replace it with zero and one, but I will keep it like that. And if you pay attention, the rate it will start to sort the first rate column here in a descending order, and then it will pick up the count from an ascending order here, and it will sort this data set like that. Okay. The, then we have find the mean value for each numeric column in a region column. What do, does it mean for each numeric column? We can just take in the for region column. If we try to group uh, it and finding the mean uh, method or mean function of this 
you know columns or the data set it will do it like that d if i try to group group by the region column here i will just paste the region and click mean type in the mean and click shift enter it will pick up only the pick up only the values or the integer values of my data set like rate count and year you could see and the other ones will be skipped here and it will just you know, find the average or the mean um, number for each this region value for this new uh, numeric columns here and this error could be avoided by typing the numeric numeric only only equals true click shift enter and you will see we have printed out the mean value for this region uh, column values but if i want to run this data set i can easily do it uh, by assigning first this df if i assign to the second data frame i don't want to save it to the first one and then just around this data set like this one round df2 to the one for example one decimal and click shift enter it will round up these decimal numbers to one decimal point okay another question will be displayed rate count for asia value in a region column okay we will have to spread uh, sort it based on the region column for but for um, but for the rate count for asia here uh, it will be clear for the if I just in, in the practical, if I try to type in the DF region region equals to Asia as an example, Asia, it will sort out. Let's pick up the whole data set here. It will sort out all the rows based on the Asia value here for the region column. But if I want to display display the specific uh, columns based on this filtered data here I will do what I will type in in the additional columns uh, here by typing the this one if I want to pick up one column here let's see that I want to pick up the region first or the rate here rate click shift enter it will print it as a a series but if I want to add a couple of columns here let's see that I want to again include the region itself region and rate click shift enter you could see it will pick up specific columns here mm, I can even add one more column here let's uh, add in the count here count right click shift enter you could see it will pick up specific columns based on these filtered data here we could of course do it in another way um, by typing let's make it head and i don't need all the rows to be showed here five rows i can even do this with the help of the query method by typing the df df query query df query inside of the query first I will put in the region region equals to Asia Asia and then I will add in what specific column names this equal should be this one and the column names will be again I will pick up two column names for example region and rate or year even year click shift enter it will sort it without problems okay okay and the next one is finding all the instances where region is equal to Asia or Europe this is quite interesting one we want to sort the sort the region column based on two values here uh, I have two ways to introduce this um, option we will type in the first DF again region 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 equals to Europe Europe this one will be the first inside of this around brackets and or 
we will type in the vertical bar or again I will copy this one paste it here and type in the Asia and then I will surround this with square brackets and call the data frame here click shift enter it will sort this uh, my data set based on the only Asia and Europe column Europe value here but if I want to print out um, it in another way I can do it with the help of the easing method here by typing the df df um, region uh, like region first I will pick in region and is in inside of the is in parameter we will type in the Europe Europe and Asia Asia okay if I just click shift enter it will just print out true false but if I call the data frame here it will again sort it without problems if I want to drop subregion and rate column from the data frame, I can do it with by typing the df drop, for example, drop, um, type in the column names here. The first one will be subregion, subregion, another one will be what the rate. I can easily drop it and by typing axis equals to one, one and save it if I want but I will not save it I can just uh, click shift enter uh, click shift enter and it will uh, drop sub region and rate column but if I call the data frame itself here it will just start to um, print out all the uh, it will bring it back to the previous condition if I want to save it and uh, the data frame uh, the in, in a deleted format I will add it in the in place equals to true parameter here but I want, don't want to save it like that okay I want to bring it back to the original position here okay if I want to drop the rows where count column is for example greater than 1000 here I want to drop all the rows where the count is greater than 100 I can do it in two ways the first one I can just type in the df df uh, count if count and if I want to drop the rows where column count column is greater than greater than 1000 I will just type in the less than 1000 and will skip all the rows which are greater than 1000 this is the first way we are not dropping it we are just filtering it and it automatically uh, skips the rows which are gre greater than 1000 by typing the less than 1000 here you could see 156 rows but another way of doing it is um, typing the with the help of the tilde tilde um, symbol we will just copy it copy it and if I put in the tilde parameter here tilde and type in the greater it will delete all the rows which are greater than 1000 if I just refresh the data set here and come back here run it it will not sort it why because we haven't entailed it with these round brackets if I click shift enter again it should work without problems uh, I forgot to place it here shift enter you can see it has 156 rows it has dropped all the rows which are greater than 1000 here this one and the last one increase all the values of year column by one okay I can do it like if I mark down it delete this one and add this one Okay, I will increase the values of a year column by one I have a year column here and I want to increase this column years by one by creating another column here or uh, replacing these values we have two ways of doing it okay I can either uh, do it inside of this column itself or by creating another one we will try both of them I will type in the DF year year equals 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 df year year and uh, give an apply me method here by typing the lambda lambda x 
x and x plus 1 and call the data frame here click shift enter and in, in, it will increase all these values by 1 we will say 2019 uh, and it has previous uh, the previous data set was whole how it was if I just refresh it and call the data frame here like this one like this one here the previous was 2018 but here it has become 2019 and it's and all the rows uh, have been changed respectively here but if i want to create a new column and assign it to that uh, let's say that i want to multiply or add in five years for this additional column by creating the additional column i will type in that for example df year two it has created it and df year apply x plus five for example and run it and you can see it has created the year two column and added five to each row of this column here i think that that's it for now thank you for watching this video subscribe to my channel have a good day bye